The only thing I'm thinking about right now is breakfast. How do you want your egg? Egg has come with. I've not been asleep. Hmm. Do you hear that? Why? It's stinking cops. So my breath smells like a dead, decaying body to you. Mm. I'm offended.
mind, you work sexy, you're divine. You're creative, I can kiss you, I can help you. If I let me go on. Nakupenda. Clear. You look gorgeous. Chocolate It's about the call, right? Clear. Clear. Sensing mad vibes. Are uh, you? I'm not sure if that's how you went naturalizing. You were just disregarding things. You're calling me inconsiderate. Who is ignoring him now? Claire. Yeah, you're full of shit. This is the problem with you, Claire. You are annoying. Fucking talk to me, Claire. You're shouting. You only think about yourself and what's good for you. Now I'm selfish, eh? Insecurity doesn't seem good on you. Clear, always thinking that everything I do is to hurt you. Clear. Huh? I can't even live my life freely anymore. Who is that? Who is taxing? Who is... <laughs> Stop being paranoid. It's ring us. Can't you see? Really? Who started this? Huh? You did. Who is upset? <laughs> you are. It's just because of <laughs> I didn't pick a call. <laughs> my call. Called from my own phone. <laughs> ah, clear. Wait. Claire, you still think I'm the same guy I was three years ago? Huh? <laughs> you don't want to accept the fact that this man has changed. Come on, Claire. Just 
give this man a chance to mend where they need fixing. Forget the past and move on. Hmm? You know, I'm starting to think that you enjoy watching me rant. Be honest. None of this is enjoyable. <laughs> Not even when we talk about how better you want to treat me. <laughs> because when you say that, it takes me back. All those memories run back in my head vividly. <laughs> <coughs> Holding on to those memories isn't doing us any good. I wish I was holding them intentionally. Right now, we will be on our seventh round of the morning. Washing those bed sheets that you fucked her on. The clothes that you wiped your filth with. Is that something I can move on from? At least not without closure. I don't want to talk about my past. A past to you. It happens almost every single day. Over and over and over. Sometimes I blame myself. Tell me, Calvin. Were you not happy? Or was it my amateur sex? Or you were just a yeah. fucking... Womanizer. We moved in too early when we were too young. You were 20 when we moved in together. I believe that's old enough to know when you don't want someone. <laughs> you watched me suffer under your arms, going through pain after pain. You broke my heart with no remorse, into pieces. And you didn't even let me heal. You tore the stitches and let me bleed. I naively took all of that because I'm madly in love with you. And I had this belief if I let you go, I couldn't get another. I didn't know I was so busy loving you, forgetting about myself. And what was good for Claire, I gave much more than I was getting from you. It drained me, Calvin. I had nothing to give anymore. That day when I saw you, I didn't know it would go that far to an extent of cheating on you. But when he listened, showed concern, let me cry in his arm like a baby. I felt my heart fading. I had been stoic for so long. I felt something different. Safe 
and when he touched my boob, I wanted more. <laughs> Clear. Are you trying to hurt me? Is that it? <laughs> Are you just playing follow, eh? You think you got everything figured out yet? You are so ignorant. <laughs> ah, Claire. <laughs> Not everything is about you, Claire. You know, if I wanted to hurt you, I would do it so bad. <laughs> so bad that you'll never, never recover. <laughs> Claire, the fact that you are here means that I love you. Do you have to be so difficult? Just fucking stop being insecure. What do you expect? I'm a better man now. I was a jack then. Sure. Claire, you want to mean you haven't noticed? What exactly? That I'm better now. If being an emotional terrorist and insincere is better to you, then I get you. Transparency, Calvin. <laughs> I am trying to avoid unnecessary drama. Oh, wow. Okay. You know what hurts the most? It's not the fact that you cheated repeatedly with different girls. I trusted you and you fucked me up. That I handled. What hurts most is knowing all those years, the effort, love, sacrifices I put on you. As this relationship was useless to you. Don't get me wrong, I don't regret any of that. I just think it's it's too late to start over. I can't get rid of the feeling that I have when I'm with you. I feel at home. When I look into your eyes, I see, I, I see us as a family. But deep down, I know it's not gonna last. You're fucking unstable. You're out there chasing God knows what. I'm sorry for loving you so much. I'm sorry for the pressure I put on you. Maybe it made you catch cold feet and mess up order fully. I'm sorry for the challenges I put you through, pushing you 
to follow your dreams. I apologize for constantly reminding you you are better than you think and clever enough to, to come up with brilliant ideas for your business. I'm sorry for putting you first. I'm just thinking I can fix you. I apologize for trusting you and thinking that I was your only one. Even if I knew there was nothing like that. I was blind as a bat. Only if I picked that phone a few minutes ago, then you wouldn't be crying. Or <laughs> maybe it would have been worse. Because the call was from a girl, a, a client. I never realized how much I hurt you. How could I when at all time you would say that you were fine? Claire, thank you. Eh? Thank you for not leaving my stupid ass. Thank you for loving me at my worst. Thank you, Claire. Thank you for for the support that you've given me all the way. If it was not for that support, that I wouldn't be this great. And you know, that support, that right there, that is authenticity. Thank you, Claire, for being real. My heartfelt thank you for everything that you have given to me and your forgiveness. Thank you, Claire. Are you going to call her back? Your client, are you going to call her back? 